Hello everyone, this is a generic video guide for all starter prompt builders. As an example, we will use the cartoonish characters prompt builder, starter version here. Other builders have slightly different architectures and drop-down lists, but the aim of this video is to help you get started with prompt builders and learn the core features of prompt creation. Specific tips for the builder you've purchased are available in a separate video, also included. Let's begin. The instruction on getting started is provided right here, but I'll still show and explain all the actions. You can work only in your copy of the builder, not in the original file. Upon opening this Google Sheet, please go to File, then Create a Copy, change the name if you need, and then press Make a Copy. After that, work only in your copy of the file, otherwise the drop-down lists will not work. To make a prompt, select Desired Options from drop-down lists in column D. You may also write something custom in these special empty cells. For example, in the cartoonish character prompt builder, these are D10, D11, and D13. The result prompt is shown in this special cell. Copy it from here and post it into the dialog with midjourney bot after imagine prompt command. Important. If you want to make changes to the prompt, do it manually after posting it into midjourney. If the builder is not working as explained, please create a new copy from the original. This tip helps in solving 90% of possible technical issues. Also, creating a new copy from time to time helps you have the latest version of the builder, as we make minor or important changes in all our products regularly to keep them up to date. Now about the builder itself. Every prompt builder consists of several blocks to logically group the prompt content. In the case of Cartoonish Characters Prompt Builder, these sections are Object, Style, and Parameters. Please keep in mind that these sections and drop-down lists may be slightly different for your particular prompt builder, but we try to keep the same sense and logic for all builders. In the Object block, you can specify your digital product. There is a prepared selection of the ones that Midjourney recognizes well, and also these are suitable for the theme of your particular prompt builder. Other drop-down lists in this section work the same way, helping to add details to your object. Moving on to the style block, please note that there's a style preview possibility. You can check the art styles used in your particular builder in the sheet styles examples. This will help you visually acquaint yourself with different styles. Compare the outcomes between version 5.2 and version 6.0. Learn helpful tips for optimal style usage and find inspiration. The Color Palette drop-down list provides you with various options on how your colors will look, not the precise color themselves. You can add your custom colors and at the same time choose one of the color palettes. This way, you'll tell Midjourney whether your custom colors are bright or faded, glittery or dark. Art styles provide you with inspiration and ready-to-use decisions to give your images a certain artistic look. In some prompt builders, we have two drop-down lists for styles. The first one is basic, like minimalistic or cartoonish. And the second one is for the art styles like watercolor or cute kawaii. Now background. Use isolated on white or another color for clip arts or images that are not supposed to occupy the whole canvas. Use other backgrounds or no style for illustrations, photos, and other digital products that cover the entire canvas. The third block is devoted to the parameters, which are technical directions and limitations for Midjourney. In the parameters to add, you can find a variety of Midjourney versions. Usually it's recommended sticking with the latest one, as it's the most advanced one. Now version 6 is still in the test period, and after a lot of experiments we still think that version 5.2 is good enough for certain tasks. So use 5.2 and 6 in different situations. As you've already noticed, there are previews for both in the Styles Examples sheet. Probably you'd like to take a look at it once again. And it's always good advice to experiment to achieve what you'd like to see. Please note that currently version 6 is not supporting Midjourney Tuner styles. So if you utilize a style code, you should avoid adding V6. The Niji version is created specially for anime images. It exists separately from other Midjourney versions so you can't use this parameter together with any other version. Stylize is the parameter for mid-journey creativity level. Default value is 100, minimum is zero, and maximum is 1000. You can play with it to make your image more sophisticated, fantasy and cartoonish with bigger numbers, or more simple and realistic with numbers below 100. 
Style Raw gives you more control over your images. Images made with Style Raw have less automatic beautification applied, which can result in a more accurate match when prompting for specific styles. It will provide a corresponding outcome, more artistic images for artistic styles and objects, and more realistic for photos and cinematics. AR parameter is for the aspect ratio. By default, Midjourney creates square images, which means aspect ratio one by one. If the first figure is smaller, like nine by 16, you'll get vertical images and vice versa. You can apply any custom aspect ratios with integers. Just make your corrections after pasting your prompt into the dialogue with Midjourney bot. Parameters to exclude are for negative prompting. They help you exclude certain objects, colors, and themes from your image. After pasting your prompt into the dialogue with Midjourney bot, you can add more than one term to be excluded from your image, dividing the terms with commas. Don't use the no parameter several times. Master word order. There are two main rules with some flexibility for AI prompting. First words are much more important than further words. Place your object first, colors and styles after, and parameters in the end. If your outcome image doesn't contain all the information you've put into the prompt, you should probably place the missing details closer to the beginning of the prompt. Create collections. Collection-like items are easily achievable using the same style and color palette, but what if you've created a great image with no particular style or colors? Or what if your style-color combination doesn't guarantee consistent outcomes? There is another way to stick to the same style. Create an image that you like in mid-journey, upscale it to extract it from the image grid, and then use the Very Strong button to create images which will be very close in terms of style and colors. Make sure to turn the remix mode on using the settings command to enable the possibility to change your prompt object when using very strong. Achieve more realistic or artistic results. The first level that you have to impact this aspect of your creation is the product type. Use photo or illustration for different scenarios. The second powerful tool is the stylize parameter. As most of you already know, it stands for mid-journey creativity level. When creating artistic, cartoonish, or surrealistic images, you may like the outcome with higher values, like S300, 500, or even higher. At the same time, it increases the depth of the image, making it more 3D. Lower values of this parameter may improve the result for photorealistic images. And the third trick is to add the style raw parameter. You've already learned how to apply it. We have other helpful tips on prompting on our social media. You can find the links in our Etsy shop. That's all you should know about the starter version of the prompt builder to begin working with it and create professional prompts. If you find this tool enjoyable and useful, we strongly recommend exploring the pro version, which offers nearly limitless possibilities, including adding up to 10 custom options for each drop-down list, new useful drop-down lists to enhance your prompting experience, special styles with many details and even mid-journey tuners, which provide consistent and stunning outcomes, and the standout feature is bulk prompting, which significantly accelerates your workflow. And now let's create and process an example prompt to finalize this guide. That's it. Looking nice. Good luck with your mid-journey creations. Hopefully that this prompt builder will help you with it.